Hi, I just want to share with you guys a quick tip I learned about SketchUp the other day. Um, if you've used SketchUp for any length of time, you know that it's essential to have a mouse with a wheel. And the reason why is when you're drawing, it's essential to be able to roll the wheel forward and back to zoom, push the wheel down to rotate, and because it's a separate mouse button, you can do this all while you're in the middle of a drawing command. So for example, if you needed to draw a line, and in the middle of drawing that line you want to rotate so you can see around something, you can do that with a wheel mouse. Now I travel a lot with a MacBook Pro and I always bring this mouse with me because when I'm doing SketchUp on the road you can't orbit and zoom in the middle of a command with just the trackpad or so I thought until the other day. What I used to do is draw like this with the trackpad and then if I need to orbit I'd have to stop, go over here and click the orbit tool turn the drawing, then go back the tool that I was uh, using previously and finish up the command. You can zoom using the MacBook's two-touch scroll feature. What I learned the other day though is really really useful. If you hit control and command on a MacBook at the same time, it allows you to rotate mid-command just like you had a wheel mouse and you can still use your two fingers to zoom in and out. If you're very dexterous, you can add the shift key and that turns into pan. So you can pan, zoom, and orbit just like you can with a wheel mouse, all with using the MacBook Pro's really, really nice multi-touch trackpad. So this now is sort of replacing the need for me to use the wheel mouse on the road. I think at home on my desk I'll stick to the tried and true wheel mouse, but this is great if you're out on the road and you need to do some quick modeling. So that's command and control and a click will get you the rotate tool mid-command, adding shift will make it pan. Pretty cool tip.